initially charged with capital murder in the 2011 deaths of his own daughter, her mother, and a family friend will soon be out free walking the streets. According to the Texas Department of Criminal Justice, that father, Conrad Ochoa, is set to be released next week. Stephanie Cerna talked with the grandmother and the mother of two of the victims who tells her she is terrified for her family and herself. Well, Ursula, on February 21st, a parole panel approved Conrad David Ochoa for discretionary mandatory release. Today, a spokesman with the Texas Department of Criminal Justice tells us Ochoa is set to be released from a unit in Huntsville on March 7th. Now, we talked to Susie Bianchi Peters this afternoon. She is the mother and grandmother of two of the three victims. She told us that she got a letter last week that stated Conrad Ochoa would be getting out. She says she's frightened and she's seeking a protective order. I'm mortified that it's going to be on the streets. I'm not sure what other measures will be in place to um, keep him from continuing what he has done and has been convicted of and what he's suspected of. Conrad Ochoa, along with his brother, Baron Ochoa, were initially charged with capital murder in the deaths of Conrad's daughter, Sammy, her mother, and a family friend. All three victims had been stabbed to death their bodies found in their home, which had been set on fire. Conrad Ochoa took a plea deal on the child pornography charge, which called for a 10-year prison sentence. However, the special prosecutor in the case said because the capital murder charges were dismissed without prejudice, if new evidence is brought forward, the brothers could be reindicted. Bianchi Peters now just hoping someone will come forward with that new evidence. There's still time. If somebody knows anything, report it. It could be something that maybe seems minor to you, but it could make a difference. When Conrad Ochoa is released, he will have special conditions imposed, which will include having to register as a sex offender and going through a sex offender program. He will be prohibited from certain Internet access, and he'll have to maintain a job with a livable wage. Ursula. Thank you.